The Crypto Markets Update is presented by Grayscale, the world's largest digital currency asset manager. Let's have a live look at Bitcoin. The Coindesk Bitcoin price XVX index is currently trading at $38,400 so dollars, down about 2% over the past 24 hours. And the Coindesk Ether price ETX index is at $2506. ETH is down about 3.2%. 3% and the Coindesk or the DFX Coindesk DeFi's index is currently at $523. DeFi is down just over 4% over the day. And joining us now to discuss the crypto markets is Christy Harkin, Coindesk Technology Managing Editor. Welcome to the show, Christy. So Ethereum appears to be rising over the past few weeks up with Bitcoin. And do you see the London hard fork as you take a look at this technology? What, what is happening um, and what might this, what implicate for Ethereum? Well, the London hard fork is due to launch tomorrow at around 12 o'clock or some shortly thereafter UTC. That's about 8 a.m. EST, our time, um, and at about 12,400 some odd blocks to go. Um, and it's part of the roadmap designed to lead up to the release of Ethereum 2.0, which will replace Ethereum's current proof of work protocol with proof of stake. Um, and the London hard fork has been tested to death. It's been on lots of test nets. It's done very well. So the developers are pretty sure it's good to go. Um, and everyone's been really looking forward to this. And I think that that's a, um, probably part of the bullish signal for Ethereum at the moment is just this idea of progress and moving forward. Um, and uh, it's designed uh, many of the uh, Ethereum improvement proposals, EIPs involved in the hard fork are designed to make transaction fees on Ethereum less, vo less volatile and more predictable. So things are going to sort of settle down on the fee front is the hope, um, which again will help with people who are trying to use Ethereum in order to implement their smart contracts and um, their various DeFi trades, et cetera. So uh, Christy, I'm gonna ignore the, the, the Maple Leafs uh, poster you have in the back. I know you're trolling me. I don't, I don't appreciate it, but I'll, I'll let it go for now. Um, go Leafs, go. <laughs> Love you, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, you, go Habs, go! Um, so when when you got so for for London for the for London, what does it mean for traders? Is it is it going to mean that their transaction fees are going to go down as they trade? What does it exactly mean for for people in the market who are going in and out of ETH? What are they going to notice? Are they going to notice anything at all? That's a kind of been up for debate. Um, ideally, yes, it should lower transaction fees. Um, it should make things a little more stable. Um, but not everybody agrees with that. But let's just say, yeah. Um, at it, so you, you've got EIP fifteen fifty nine. This is the one that everybody talks about with the London Hard Fork. There are five protocols, four, five um, EIPs rather, that are being implemented with the London Hard Fork. But the one that gets all the attention is fifteen fifty nine which is going to activate a mechanism to curb total supply growth over time by taking a variable amount of ETH out of circulation at each time a transaction is executed. Now, Bitcoin has a set market cap, which everybody knows uh, 21 million odd Bitcoins only will ever only be mined. Ethereum does not have that cap, so you don't have that fixed supply. But what EIP 1559 is, is going to do is burn ETH every time there's a transaction. So it will stabilize the uh, it will stabilize the amount of ether out there. So you're not going to um, over time, you're not going to just have this, you know, infinite amount of ETH. So I um, see that's a really good. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, go, no, go ahead. ahead. No, it's good. I was just going to say that's a really good um, explanation. So I guess my question about the hard fork, are we going to start seeing these changes right away or is it going to be more staggered? Because sometimes it takes a while for these things to actually, you know, become a reality. Well, um, 1559, from my understanding, would kick in um, right away. I could be wrong. But I do know that, for example, the, um, the Ice Age... Uh, 
EIP, um, which is uh, the difficulty bomb, that will kick in on December 1st. That's part of the part of the hard fork is that it will set the date for um, the difficulty bomb to happen on December 1st. Uh, so this is a mechanism that will incrementally increase the difficulty of mining on the Ethereum network. Um, effectively, over time, it will freeze proof of work in preparation for Ethereum's move to proof of stake. So that is part of the London hard fork tomorrow, but all it's doing tomorrow is setting the date, programming the date for December 1st.